Hey everyone, 1-1 One -One is the latest marksman addition to the game, and a lot of you guys are probably wondering how to play her. In this video I will skip the very basics, such as her skills, since you guys can easily read about them in game. But instead I will show you how to use those skills more efficiently. First, let's quickly talk about 1-1's strength. As a marksman, she has a lot of tools. She can do AoE stun, she can constantly dash, and has a free purify skill. But her biggest strength is her ultimate, which deals an insane amount of damage while being invincible. But it's also very tricky to activate. What I have noticed when playing 1-1 one -one is that there is almost just one weakness remaining that I need to break in order to activate her ultimate, and that is the trickiest one, which is why I recommend using the spell Flicker. You can just use Flicker next to the last weakness and either do a basic attack or use her second skill to break the weakness. Here is a good example. You can see that I broke all Basha's weakness, except one. It was very hard to break, seeing it was in the opposite direction. So I decided to use Flicker right next to it and use a basic attack to break it. By the way, in case you didn't know, you can use Flicker while ulting. Now let's talk about the build. I did trial and error with the builds, and this is the recommended build that I came up with. You want to focus on attack speed build, because it allows her to dash and break weaknesses faster. The attack speed also affects her ultimate. I recommend Demon Hunter Sword first, because it gives her sustain and makes each basic attack deals a lot more damage, and you only need this item to start popping off. Corrosion Sight is great, because it's the item that increases the attack speed the most in the game, and it also slows down the enemies. The rest of the items are more flexible. If you think your position is impeccable, then I recommend Blade of Despair as its third item. This will turn her into a killing machine, but if you are out of position, then you are dead. If you want to play this safe, get a defensive item for its third spot, either Queen's Wings or Athena Shield if the enemy's mage is dominating the game. As for the emblem, I recommend the Assassin Emblem, since this makes her deal a lot more damage in the early game, which is very important because you don't want to be just a dead wave in the early game. Now let's go to the gameplay. When using her first skill, you want to align yourself with it, in a way that will hit the enemies many times. So you have to predict a little bit the path that the targets are going to take, and align yourself with the first skill. It's a little bit tricky, but just playing her a little bit you will understand the mechanic very soon. And remember, the first skill can stun only if you hit them twice. In the early game, she's not that weak compared to other marksmen. If you manage to stun them and break all their weaknesses, she can deal a pretty decent amount of damage. By looking at the map, I knew Marsha was taking this small minion, so I tried to steal it. Her second skill is a purify, but it's also a small dash, keep that in mind.
Here I was wondering where was Marsha, and by taking a quick look at the map, I hear Marsha was attacking the turtle. Here I saw Guinevere coming top, so I was trying to bait the enemies to engage me, and since I am a marksman and it looks like I am solo in the lane, he will resist such a bait. While doing that, I am trying to break as many weaknesses as possible, so when it's time to fight, it won't take as many attacks to activate my ultimate. You can see I keep rotating around Masha, just so I can pop off the last weakness and activate my ultimate. Don't be afraid of heroes that can stun or CC you. Her second skill is a free purify. Here you can see that I used my first skill and Leomor was not in the range of fire. So I decided to step back and make sure that I'm aligned with Leon and my first skill in order to stun him and break some rear weaknesses. Here I was too focused on breaking Leomor's weaknesses that I didn't notice I didn't have mana for the ultimate. If only I had mana, that probably could have been a savage. Anyway guys, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. Shut down. Killing spree. Double kill. <laughs> you can try to catch me. Shut down. Enemy double kill. You have slain an enemy! Uh, if only I could be taller! Ally has slain the turtle. 
Vengeance will get you nowhere. Your team destroyed a turret. Legendary! Shut down! Oh. 